Welcome back to another very special edition of CCS and Sons Workshop. We are today unloading a 5,000 pound Mazak metal lathe. If you're interested in watching how the Egyptians moved heavy stone blocks with the advantage of a forklift, then stick around. We've got a video for you. So a little of the backstory for you. My brother is into metalworking. He has a YouTube channel as well, and I'm going to link to the channel in the description below. So if you want to follow this lathe and its restoration process, be sure you check out his channel below. So as we all do, my brother was perusing the online auction houses for equipment and saw this lathe going for a unbeatable price. So he's now the proud new owner of a Mazak 18 inch by 60 inch gap bed swing lathe. This thing was made in Japan in the 1960s and weighs about 5,000 pounds. Fortunately, the auction house had a forklift to help load it and a neighbor had a forklift to help us unload it. The lathe appears to have surfaced rust only and the plan is to clean it up check all the bearings and because we don't have three phase power he will install a VFD or variable frequency drive uh, to be able to use our 220 rather than a three phase power connection if you enjoy watching this video and videos like this be sure you hit that thumbs up button as well as the subscribe button for my channel as I mentioned my brother has a YouTube channel as well and you can find the link to that in the description below that's where all the restoration for this lathe will occur. So if you want to follow along, click his link below. Thanks for watching. Uh, 
Quite a few valuable lessons learned from this project. Number one being have plenty of pipes on hand. We were using the pipe rolling method as you saw um, and even though we thought we had plenty of pipes we ended up needing to take apart some pipe clamps at the last minute so be sure you have more than you think you're gonna need. You'll be glad you did. And second is making sure that your load is balanced not just by looking for the midpoint of the load but by figuring out where the actual center of gravity is on an object as big as this lathe. And number three is use small movements. We knew we had quite a ways to move this thing, but inch by inch with rollers across the cement floor, we got there. Uh, we didn't try to do it in one big push, and that was important. We made some wooden wedges that were hammered in underneath to prevent the lathe from rolling backwards when we didn't want it to. That was an important lesson learned. Uh, and Finally, probably the most important, have a friend with a trailer and a forklift because that's going to be critical for this. 
As always, thanks for watching CCS and Sons Workshop. We really appreciate it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.